Hello, all you fabulous card-making friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm super excited to share some new items over at Simon Says Stamp. It's part of the Sweet Wishes release. This is just a snippet of them. There's lots more over at Simon Says Stamp. But Simon sent this to me, and I thought I would share them with you guys. And then we're going to make a card using some of the items. First, there's a new die set that's just beautiful. This is called the Autumn Sunflower. It, it's a three-piece die set. Well, four, technically four. This piece is one. So, But these are what it looks like. I believe it comes with a magnet, too. Mine came with a magnet. And I die cut this out to show you what it looks like. There are two layers. Let me show you. You have a smaller circle and then you have the larger circle and they layer perfectly together. If you want to put foam tape behind there to add a little dimension, you could. And then you have the flower centers. I dike them out with two different colors, but isn't that a beautiful sunflower? We'll be using this on our card today. So this is new and this is called the Autumn Sunflower. So pretty. And I also like that Simon scales their dies to size on the front. So this is actually the actual size here, which is wonderful. There's another new die set. It's called Bubble Script Birthday. This is a script birthday and then it's a shadow. This is for most part one piece and then you have the dot to the eye that does um, that you'll have to add and then of course there's the shadow and this is new how cute I'll be making a card with this later on too this is called village snowman this die set let me show you looks like this and you have all the pieces that will create this adorable snowman it's <laughs> so cute. Just love this. So this is called the Village Snowman. That's the new die. And then we have any more dies? No, but we have a small stamp set that's new. It's Merry Everything. How cute is that? Merry Everything and Happy All the Days. And then there are some new reverse winter sentiment strips. And these sentiment strips, let me open them up here. Okay, there are four, I believe, and they are two different sets. Looks like you have lowercase on this one, and then you have uppercase on this one. And I'll show you how I like to store these. Simon sells the Positively Everything Clear Pockets. They come in a pack of ten. These are nice, heavyweight, durable envelopes. And I like to store mine in here. And then there's a little flap that you can secure. The reverse sentiment strips are new, but these have been in the shop for a while. I'll link them down below if you guys want to check it out. But So these are new. The one that we're going to be using on our card today is not part of them. This is the... Let me see... Well, I just don't know. I'm not sure what the name of these are, but we're going to be using these on our card today. It has a lot of greetings that go with you. Um, I know you've got this. Look at you being so amazing, incredible, extraordinary. I actually trimmed down a greeting and trimmed off you and kept our doing great. We're going to be using this on our card um, because I'm also going to bring in a another die set to go with it. But reverse sentiment strips are super nice. Okay, and with this new background stamp. How cute is this? It's called Sparkle Strands. Love this. I love that it can go this way or this way. This is one of those that are great for watercoloring too. Heat embossing and watercoloring. And then we have a 6x8 stamp set that's very unique. And I think it's, it does look zippy. That's for sure. How cute are these? This is um, from CC Designs. It's called Zippy Winter. I mean, how, how cute. You can't help but smile when you see these. 
<laughs> so cute. So this is new to the shop, and I'm pretty sure they have the coordinating dies, which is lovely. And then we have another brand new Positively Perfect Craft Tacky Mat. This is perfect for A2 size panels. Just love that. Let's see. This will actually fit in your mini Misty beautifully. There's a tackiness to that. And then there are etched in um, grid lines. It does leave you some room around your A2 panel for sticking stencils. And speaking of stencil, there's a brand new stencil that I wanted to share. And it is called Stems and Leaves. It's, it's kind of hard to tell in the package, isn't it? Let me show you. It is beautiful. Let's take this out. But look how gorgeous this is. Isn't that just beautiful? So that is new to the shop. I love that. And again, this will fit perfectly in your Mini Misty. And so again, this is the stems and leaves. We're actually going to stencil this background, but since this is a, a more intricate and delicate stencil, what I like to do is take pixie spray. And I like to spray behind here because making sure I have the right side. I'm just going to set this down, let this dry, but this way, um, Pixie Spray is a low-tack adhesive, so I know these, these fine detail lines are going to stick to my panel. So we're actually going to use that on our card. I'll put that aside, but I have two more things to share with you. We have some new mini ink cubes. This is more in the, um, it's more of the, like in the autumn family. We'll be using some of these on our card today. These are the Positively Saturated Mini Ink Cube set. Um, there's six new, well, six colors in here, and I love that they're in a little color family. We have butter, zest, honey, clay, terracotta, and brick. Nice fall colors. We'll be using these on our cards today. And lastly, I have to share with you some gunmetal positively dazzling gems. Gunmetal is so cool. Let me show you what these look like. They're just beautiful. We're actually going to use these on our card too. So those are just a few new items over at Simon Says Stamp. Um, I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. And with some of them, we're going to make a card. Okay, first off, we're going to do a little stenciling. I have a panel of some dark yellowy, orangey color. This is actually Spellbinders. Tuscan cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and tack down my stencil here. I haven't used lunar paste in a while, so I have Simon Hurley's lunar paste. This is cookie dough, I believe. Yeah, cookie dough. And we're just going to spread it all over. Okay, I'm just going to take some and I'm going to spread it. Actually, we'll just take a couple globs because I have this little scraper that works beautifully. Go ahead and lift up my stencil and we'll take a look. I mean, how beautiful is that? I'm going to let this dry. We'll set this to the side. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean off my work surface. I'm actually going to scoop this back inside the container and I'll be right back. Now we're going to do a little bit of ink blending, and I also did a little bit of die cutting. I took my U die, this has a shadow and a U, die cut it out with some orange cardstock, and then I did pop it up with some pop-up foam here for a little dimension, and then I took a piece of vellum and die cut out the shadow. So what we're going to do right away is just 
add a little bit of glue here and then I'm going to add my glue and tack this down to my vellum so this is ready to go and then I also die cut out with the same color one of the wood planks from Simon Okay, I wanted a little extra color in my background, so I thought that would be it. For the sunflowers, we're going to do a little ink blending. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of clay. I'm going to use one of my Ranger mini blending tools for this. And then I'm going to, you're not going to be able to see the center, but I do want kind of want to fade it up. Now to build our sunflower, it's really easy. I'm just going to add glue behind the circle. And then I'm just going to turn it until all the leaves are vid visible. And I think I found the happy spot. How pretty is that? That's just gorgeous. Oops. I just love the sunflower. Okay, then we have um, these two pieces. I'm going to take my darker brown one. I'm going to take that off here. I'm going to add some glue behind here. And I will tack down my flower center. And then I'm going to add a foam square behind here. We're going to add a little dimension with this. Beautiful. Oh, I am going to put one more foam square behind here so it's ready to go. And that's my sunflower. Okay, I do, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in I'm going to switch out I wonder if I could put this under here. I'm going to add a little color to my U2. I think I should have did this before I put my vellum down, but I think I can still get away with it. I'm going to use my terracotta. And I'm going to add some color to the bottom of my U. Yeah, I think that works out perfect. And then I'm also going to add some of that color to my, my wood plank. I'm going to add it dark at the bottom and kind of fade up. Now my panel is just almost dry. I did have to help it along the way with my um, heat gun. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and trim a little bit off. I trimmed this down to four inches by five and a quarter and I'm going to place this on my card base. Give that a good press. Okay, and then I'm going to take my wood plank strip. I'm going to add some glue behind here. And I'm going to tack this down about an inch from the left. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my sunflower. And I'll go ahead and add my greeting. I am going to pop it up with some foam squares. Next I'll take the other part of my greeting. And again, this came with you in front, but I just trimmed that off. Because I'm going to place it right over this U here. And then I'm going to bring in some of my gunmetal gems and we're going to add some sparkle. And that is my card today for Simon Says Stamp using some new items. We have a brand new stems and leaves stencil. We have the new autumn sunflower die set plus lots more. I hope you get a chance to check it out. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.